Be a good boy for your grandfather, Sam. Okay. Don't wear him out. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> from. You should write them down. Bet you'd have a whole book. I never learned to read or write, Sam. Didn't get to go to school. Not like you lucky boys and girls get to know. Grandad, can I have another story before bed? Did I ever tell you how the knight found his loyal and trusty flying steed? No. Well, before he was the knight's flying steed, Pell was a very sad horse. He belonged to a witch who kept him locked up. Stories, I want to read what you've written. Sam, why haven't you written anything? Do I have to phone your parents and tell them that you're not doing any more schoolwork? Come on, let's start going, eh? Okay? I read all your stories and marked them all, and I'm got to say I am well impressed. Sam, do you want to come and read yours? Um, me? A great tale of the adventure, Sir Calus, Knight of the Sky. I liked your story, Sam. I liked the bit where the knight with the witch. You gonna come play football with us? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. I think we showed on the monsters who's boss. Let's go home, pal. <sighs> oh, is that the time? Would you like to stay for tea, Sam? And tied the monsters back together. The town is saved, and the monsters have no choice but to go back into the sea depths and try and untangle themselves. The end. to get to my granddad's. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. You can visit your granddad any time. OK. But I can't stay for long.
There was once a dragon that lived in a cave. For years, the dragon and the townspeople had lived peacefully alongside each other. Until... What's the problem here? <coughs> <coughs> Sam? Yes, Sam, go fetch your story. Um. I... It's okay, Sam. Oh, um. We want to hear it. I'll read it out if you want. Tale of the Adventurer, Sir Kalos, Knight of the Sky. Did you write a Knight of the Sky adventure? I thought it was the Knight's flying steed. Hell was a very sad horse. He belonged to a witch that kept him locked up. What you did, Sam, is cheating. You can't take other people's ideas and use them as your own. I thought you knew better than that. I really am very disappointed in you. This is a um, story about a knight called Sir... Sir Palus. And um, I thought you said he was called Sir Kayla. Well, well, this is a different knight. Um, and he, he he had a horse called um Joe. Joe, that's good. I didn't write the stories. I stole them from my granddad. He tells me them all the time. And now he's in hospital and he might die. That's very, very grown up of you to tell me that you didn't write that story. I need your help. Granddad. <coughs> Son, dad. I went into school today and the teacher remarked my grade. I told her the truth. She gave me an F. F-A-L. I'm so glad you told the truth, son. And that's not all. I forgot. I did this book. The Adventures of Sir Kalos. Sam, did you not listen to what I told you? But wait. Look, it said stories by Grandad, pictures by Sam. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. And um, Grandad? Yeah. Well, I was wondering. Can I have another story? Absolutely. Now, the knight was in great peril. Why was Pell? Pell was looking for help. Thankfully, Pell found help in the form of a stable boy. They ran to the knight's rescue. The knight was free, all thanks to the courageous stable boy. They decided to team up. I cannot go any further. That was my last adventure. I'm afraid you'll have to go on alone from now on. And so the boy sets off on his own adventure.